Hey you guys, welcome back to Mayfield Ranch. My name's Katie and today we are gonna be showing you how we put up this shade sale so that we could provide a little bit of shade for our donkeys. So let me show you how we did it. Okay, so this is our second year actually putting up the shade sale. So let me show you guys a couple things that we did last year just to be able to put it up and prepare so that you can see the entire process. So the first thing we had to do is just kind of measure the shade sale. So it does reach over to our fence and I'm gonna show you a couple anchors that we put in there. And then we attach it to our container. So it wasn't long enough, we have a 40 foot container it wasn't long enough to reach all the way to the end. So what we had to do is kind of right here in the middle is put this eye bolt in, you guys can see that. Just so we had something to attach it to. Now we're using chain, you could definitely use rope. Like if you needed a longer uh, piece, you could still use chain, but if it was so long that it's getting heavy, you could certainly use like a lightweight rope, put some tension on it and that would work too. My name's Gregory and I'm gonna be helping with this video today. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Good little helper there, isn't he? Okay, so we've got our little friends out here. They're always interested when we're doing some work around the property. So the first thing we need to do is get some food scooped up and kind of coax them into the next little pasture so we can shut the gate and do some work out here without them getting out. So Gregory's getting some food for them. And of course, our chickens heard Gregory scooping that food. So they're over here seeing if they can get a little snack as well. Gregory, what are you wearing out here? Uncle Gary told me to wear my farmer flip flops. About to put up the shade cover. Gary and I are working on it out here with Gregory. We've got these two pieces of chain and a couple carabiners. So we'll show you how we're gonna use that to hook the side up to the cargo container. So right up there at the top of the cargo container, there's just kind of holes in it. So we're gonna run the chain through that put the carabiner on it and we'll hook the carabiner to the D-ring on the shade cloth. This is a D-ring for the shade cloth. And then on the side we have that hooks to the fence, we've got some anchors in on the fence, so I'll show you that, and we use this tensioner. So these are the anchors that we put in on the fence. We have two of those and then we use the tensioner, so we'll show you how we hook it up. And here's a look at that second anchor that we have that's also over near the fence where we're gonna hook the other end of that shade. So it'll be nice and secure. So we'll show you how we do all that. I'm gonna hook this carabiner to this anchor. So what Gary's gonna do here is just put the chain through the hole that exists here in the container, wrap it around, put the carabiner on both ends of that chain and we'll connect it right to the D-ring on the shade cloth and it'll hold it all together. Okay, now that all three sides are secure, we took the temporary connection off and put this tensioner on and just stretched it really tight to hook it to this anchor and now he's tightening it down. Oh, 
Okay, so we got this shade put up and our animals are gonna really appreciate it. It definitely cuts down on the temperature when they're standing under it. Here's a closer look at the tensioner that we put in, hooked to the anchor, hooked to the carabiner and the D-ring. All right, if you guys are like us and your shade trees are not big yet, this might be a good solution for your livestock. See you guys next week.